Diablo 2 Resurrected. Genuinely one of the most fun games I've played in a long time. I never played the original, so playing the Resurrected Edition, I had so much fun playing through certain classes and just exploring all the acts. But what was my favorite act? What was my least favorite? That's what we're here to find out. This is Diablo 2 Resurrected All 5 Acts Ranked. Number 5, Act 4. This is probably not a surprise, it is by far the shortest act. Now, it's interesting because this is the act with Diablo, the boss, you know, the, 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 the boss named after, you know, the title of the game. Who isn't even the final boss? I would be very embarrassed if I was Diablo. It's short, it's semi-confusing, it's not bad, I had a lot of fun playing through it, but compared to the other acts it just doesn't stack up. That's a lot of bodyguards. One of these guys is a boss, I'm just gonna point that out. Number 4. Act 1. I don't have anything overly bad to say about Act 1. But the problem is, I don't have anything overly good to say about it. Sure, the menu music for the town? Amazing. But there's not much of my identity past that, it's just sort of a wasteland. And a little bit too many caves thrown in for my taking. Dude, I feel like I'm a fucking god with this check. Number 3. Act 3. Give me any movie or game out there with a jungle setting and I will be biased towards that and will pretty much automatically like it no matter what. But something that I really do like about Act 3 is that the level design outside the town is pretty much just go up. There is no confusing, oh, which path should I take, left, right, down, or up. It's just, you go up and you pretty much keep going up, unless you hit an obstacle, then you go around the corner or something. But you just keep going up, and that's sort of the simplicity that I really enjoyed. On top of that, the enemy is kind of cool. I'm just coming down here to suck on the uh, town's water well. Number 2. Act 5. Act 5 is really cool. You get into a winter setting, you've got these ice caves with like yetis which is kind of cool. You have one of the coolest like, it's not an actual boss, it's sort of like a mini boss, but one of the coolest boss fights in the game where you fight the three barbarian ancients and they all have their own abilities, that's is just like, that was my almost, honestly my favorite part of the game. That dude on the right has the least defense, I swear on it. This kid that does spins is insane. Number 1. Act 2. The biggest reason why Act 2 is my favorite, just listen to the music in the town. I It's just one of my favorite soundtracks in gaming. Listening to that honestly makes me want to go back and play this game. Exploring out in the desert is wicked, wickedly cool. You get to explore kind of uh, cool tombs, and also at some point like the sun goes out or something, some sort of curse comes down and it gets dark, so you're exploring the desert in the dark, which is very kind of spooky. Overall, Act 2 is just the act that I always look forward to when I play through this game. It's just overall my favorite. Where, sun? Where are you go? What the? Dude, this kid fucking scared as shit. Wrist blade, now that sounds like an assassin. So that's it. All five acts in Diablo 2 Resurrected ranked. I know damn sure that the odds of my list stacking up with yours is, uh, well, mathematically extremely unlikely. What's your favorite act? What's your least favorite act? Let me know down below. But for now, I'm your host, Sega Planet Entertainment, and don't enjoy this video. Peace out. Kick the shit out of that kid. The treasure!
Okay. What is up? I know what you're thinking. You're only here for the bonus Easter egg soundtrack I put in at the end of every video. But did you also know I have a donation page under Buy Me A Coffee? Donate whatever you want to my channel and I'll put half of that back to an environmental charity. So that's that. Enjoy the music. Peace out.